Okay guys, so what I'm here to talk about today is from NBA and why getting Williams should be shut down for the season. And the main reason why I say this is because even though the Brooklyn Nets are 15 and 22 and in eighth place in the Eastern Conference and might be in third place if they have a five game winning streak. The fact of the matter is, ever since Darren Williams came to the next, he has had ankle issues. Darren Williams, in his three seasons with the next, I'm not counting the one where he got acquired, has played 155 games and Mr. Curry too. And when you're paying a guy about 18 to 21 million dollars, depending on the year, you need him to be out there on the court in order for the next to be a viable champion kid team. People have said that Gavin Williams had declined, but when you look at his numbers between New Jersey and between the Neck and Utah, they're similar. In New Jersey, Gavin Williams is averaging 18.9 points per game with 8 assists and 3 rebounds with 1 steal in his 3 years with the next. Now in Brooklyn, he, uh, he averaged 16.7 Point seven points a game with nine with nine assists and one steal. So as you can see, they're similar. The reason why people feel that Darren Williams is declining is because he can't stay on the floor that much. In three of his four years in Utah, he played 76 games or more. He only played 68 games his third year. So if he can stay on the, on the floor, he can average what he typically averages. The problem is, he needs to sit down for a while or, e or either have the surgery on his ankle so his ankle could be a hundred percent and he keeps delaying it because he wants to help the broken neck at this current moment. And he has to think for the future this team, he's owed sixty-two million dollars over the next three years. Brooklyn will pay it out. KG and Paul Pierce are aging, so what's the point of paying for this year? Get get out, bigger gang wing of old gang shape. And we'll get the MVP caliber Gang Williams. Not the one who people think is the canyon just because he can't stay on the floor. Now, if I'm the next, I, 
I play KD and Paul Pierce right now. And the first pick I'm calling, like I said earlier this year, and I'll put that video in an allocation somewhere in this video, is the Clippers. Because right now, I think Doc Rivers is the only one who values KG and Paul Pierce in the league right now. Even if I'm a neck, if I could only get draft pick, I would take it. But I will try to get DeAndre away from them and pair him up with Brooklyn Pay and see what happens. But Gary, to end this video, Gary Williams just needs to be shut down because his numbers in Brooklyn are nearly the same as in Utah. It's just that he hasn't played as much with Brooklyn just because of his injuries. So guys, tell me what you think of this. Peace.